In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can make a conversion from one unit to another using a process called dimensional analysis. Dimensional analysis is often used in chemistry or the sciences in order to make conversions when dealing with molecular weight and amounts. So it's an important skill to be familiar with. Here, we will look at using that same process with distances such as miles and feet. 17.37 miles, we're going to attempt to convert to feet. The way we're going to do this is use the units to tell us what goes where. First, we make the 17.37 miles into a fraction by putting it over 1. We will then multiply this fraction by what is called a unit conversion. Our unit conversion factor is going to attempt to clear out the units we don't want, miles. We found out with multiplying fractions that we can divide out factors that appear in both the numerator and denominator. This same principle applies to units. Since it is already in the numerator, we need the miles to be in the denominator. In the other location, then, we'll put the units that we are changing to, which are feet. Now, we can fill in this conversion factor with numbers, 1 mile equal to 5,280 feet. We'll put the 1 with the mile and the 5,280 with the feet. We now see the miles in the numerator and denominator dividing out, leaving just the feet that we're looking for. We know to multiply fractions straight across, 17.37, times 5,280 gives us 91,713.6 feet over 1 times 1, which is 1, or just 91,713.6 feet. We've made our conversion. Let's try another example where we can see this process worked through. If 1 pound is equal to 16 ounces, that's our conversion factor. We just have to decide which one's on top and which one's in the denominator. How many pounds is 435 ounces? First, we need to make those 435 ounces that we start with and make them into a fraction by putting them over 1. We then can start setting up our conversion factor where we want to get rid of the ounces, which are currently in the numerator, by moving them to the denominator. We'll put on the other spot, the numerator, what we're converting those ounces to, and that would be pounds. We know that 1 pound is 16 ounces, and so this tells us the 1's in the numerator, the 16's in the denominator, and now the ounces divide out. We can multiply straight across, 435 times 1 pound is 435 pounds over 1 times 16, or 16. To get our final answer, we'll take the 435 and divide out the 16, which is going to give us 27.1875 pounds. It's the same as 435 ounces. The nice part about dimensional analysis is we use the same process in this problem, where we ended up dividing the numbers, as in the previous problem, where we ended up multiplying the numbers. Dimensional analysis takes all the guesswork out of conversions and simply places the units where they need to go to divide out, looks at the units you're converting to, and then fill in the numbers that represent that relationship.